Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to find the factors and then solve these given cubic equation in a super easy way. The very first thing we want to make sure that these all our cubic equations are in standard form. And our cubic standard form looks like right here as you can see. So let's go ahead and take care of this very first example. The very first thing I want you to just focus is the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient over here is 3. We want to make sure this must be 1. So we're going to divide this number by 3. So that means we're going to divide across the board by 3. Thus our equation now looks like this one with the leading coefficient as 1. The next step is I want you to just focus on this very last number which is a fraction negative 2 over 3. We are looking for a possible divisors or the factors of this number. So our possible divisors turns out to be positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive or negative 1 over 3 and positive or negative 2 over 3 for this number. The next thing I want you to look at the highest degree of this polynomial is 3. That means we must have at most 3 solutions. Therefore we must pick 3 numbers if you add them up they add up to this number 4 over 3 and if you multiply them they should multiply out to negative 2 over 3. So let me show you a really easy way to figure out those three numbers. I want you to look at this fraction 4 over 3, this number. 4 over 3 could be written as 1 plus 1 over 3, isn't it? And now since we are interested in three numbers. So right now 1 over 3 is one number and 1 I can manipulate this one. I can write 2 minus 1 makes 1 and then plus 1 over 3. So that means pretty much we got three numbers. 2, negative 1 and positive 1 over 3. If you add them you're going to get this same number 4 over 3 and if you multiply them you're going to get negative 2 over 3. So thus our numbers turns out to be 2, negative 1 and 1 over 3. Once again if you multiply them you should get this number and if you add them you should get this number. Thus our factors would be, let me go ahead and just put down 3 parentheses and then put down x, x, and x over here. And then what about this thing? This is positive 2. I want you to put down positive 2 right up here. This is negative 1. I want you to put down negative 1 over here. And this is positive 1 over 3. That would come right up here. So the next step is this one. I want you to just focus on this fraction over here. I want you to just focus on this fraction over here. I want you to move this one on to the front. So thus our factor is going to look like x plus 2 times x minus 1 and then since we dragged this one on over here, so this is going to become 3x plus 1. So these are our factors. And finally our solution set is going to be simply, just look at these numbers over here, the one that you see right now. Whatever these numbers are, just change their signs, switch their signs. This become negative 2, this become positive 1 and this become negative 1 over 3. And that is our answer. Now let's get started with our second example. 
And the very first thing I want you to look at is the leading coefficient, which is 5. It must be 1. So the only way we can do it by just simply divide it by 5. If we divide this one by 5, then we must divide by 5 across the board. So our uh, new equation looks like this one with a leading coefficient as 1. Now the next step I want you to do, look at this one, this last number, which is positive 3 over 5. We are looking for its possible divisors or its factors. And these are obviously our possible divisor, positive or negative 1, positive or negative 3, positive or negative 1 fifth, and positive or negative 3 fifth. Now we are looking for three different numbers. That is, we're going to pick three numbers among these possible divisors. If we add them, we must get this number. And if we multiply them, those three numbers, we should get this one. Let me show you really easy way to figure out those three numbers. Look at this fraction 9 over 5. Isn't 9 over 5 could be written as 2 minus 1 fifth? That gives you this one over here. Now I want you to just look at this since we are looking for three numbers, isn't it? So how about 2 over here? 2 could be written as 3 minus 1 and negative 1 fifth. So that means these are our three numbers. That's going to be a positive 3, negative 1, and negative 1 fifth. If you add them, that you should get this number, 9 over 5. And if you multiply them, you should get positive 3 fifth. So thus, this is the three numbers we picked. These are, turns out to be 3 negative 1 and negative 1 over 5. Once again, if you multiply these numbers, you should get this number. And if you add them, you should get this number. Thus, our factors turn out to be, just put down three parentheses, first of all. And then I want you to put down x, x, and x x right up here. Now I want you to look at these numbers. This is 3 is same as positive 3. I want you to put down positive 3 right up here. This is negative 1. I want you to put down negative 1 right up here. And that's negative 1 fifth. I want you to put down negative 1 over 5. So the next thing what I want you to look at this thing. We have a fraction over here. 5 is at the bottom. I want you to simply drag it and move it to the front. So this factor then is going to look like x plus 3 times x minus 1. And this simply becomes, when you move this 5 in the front, become 5x minus 1. And these are your factors. And finally, our solution set is going to look like, look at these numbers, positive 3, negative 1, and negative 1 fifth. Whatever these numbers, you switch their signs, change their sign. So this simply become negative 3, this become positive 1, this become positive 1 fifth. And that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.